Hey, dinner is ready. What are you doing? Oh, this is, I'm making brain gains. This is blood flow restricting training. Haven't you heard? That means if I put an arm around my neck, I limit the blood flow to my brains. So that way I get more stress on my brains. And that way I get more brain gains. I'll be there in a minute, okay? Sure thing. It's taking too long. Welcome on my channel, Wolf. On this channel, I give science-based information about training and nutrition, and also videos like these. If you are new, hit that subscribe button and leave a like for the algorithm. If you've ever seen someone in a gym with bands around their upper arms or legs and thought they looked stupid and like bros, here is an interesting fact. They were practicing blood flow restriction training, BFR also known as cuts to training. Years ago, I thought doing a band around your arm was only to pump up like a bro lifter. But actually, since I did some research on it, I can tell you, katsu training is very, very underrated. Katsu was invented in 1966 by a doctor called Dr. Sato. He came up with the idea after a Buddhist ceremony in which he had to remain kneeling for so long that he occluded the blood flow to his calves and thought, hey, this feels just like the burn from doing calf raises. People still think this is bro science, but in fact, it might be the single best method for gaining muscle while minimizing stress on your joints, which is why I use it almost every training now, especially because most gyms are closed now. Before I will go into the science, I want to tell you shortly by which mechanisms a muscle actually grows. Muscle hypertrophy occurs when a muscle fiber is applied to enough mechanical tension to affect its, its structural integrity. As an adaptive response to this stress, the muscle fibers will undergo changes in their structure. When your muscle will undergo the building process, when muscle protein synthesis occurs, that means your muscle will get bigger. The three mechanisms of muscle growth are mechanical tension, which is very low when you use katsu because you are not training with heavy weights. Metabolic stress will be very high because you're putting a band around your limbs. Metabolic stress arises mainly during exercise where you really need glucose as fuel. The glucose requirement increases especially with constant tension, like many repetitions or during training where the blood supply is pinched, such as katsu. So this is mainly metabolic stress with katsu. Muscle damage, also known as muscle soreness, will remain low or hardly occurs due to exhaustion because of the high amount of metabolic stress and low mechanical tension. Although there are some people who are really sensitive when using katsu and will get a high level of muscle soreness. So if you're one of those, that sucks, bro. The main type of stress that stimulates muscle growth is mechanical stress on the muscle fibers. Muscle damage, metabolic stress, and exercise-induced anabolic hormones increases are also thought to play a role in muscle growth. So what you have to understand for this video is mechanical tension is the main way a muscle grows. So, when you use katsu, you can put them on with 7 out of 10 perceived tightness and then you can do reps until failure for like 3 to 4 sets. This would produce similar growth even at 20% of your 1 repetition max to heavier loads. A study by Scott and colleagues where they looked at blood flow restriction training in athletes even found that the loads that would normally produce strength or muscle growth, BFR, actually allowed them to be stronger and grow muscle mass even by using loads as light as 20 to 30 percent of your one repetition mass. So the big question now is how is it possible you can benefit from katsu for muscle growth and strength? Well the way it works essentially is that you maintain arterial inflow by putting the bands on but not all too tight to the point where it becomes painful you know. It will be uncomfortable while still occluding venous outflow. And what that does is blood pooling in the contracting muscle. It also allows metabolites to accumulate, but it does not allow them to get out. 
so buffering is hampered. So what happens is that you will start to fill earlier and you start to recruit higher threshold motor units because other ones are fatiguing faster than normally. So it limits the amount of reps you can do because you fill much earlier and it helps activate more motor units, what will help with gaining muscle and strength. Katsu can also be really effective for beginners. Because of the high amount of metabolic stress, they can take advantage of the metabolic stress to achieve full muscle fiber control. Along with the lack of muscle damage, which allows them to increase their exercise frequency, volume, which will result in more muscle growth. A funny thing I also discovered recently is that it also helps you with other muscles in your trunk, like your chest, shoulders, and back. But how is this possible? When you put bands around your arms and do pull-ups, your back has to work much harder compared to no bands on. Exercising in this way will make the entire exercise more difficult, so all muscle groups have to work harder to shift the weight. One 2006 study looked at AMG responses of the arm and chest muscles during bench press with and without katsu. And what they found was that when you limit the blood flow in your arms during bench press, that it will increase not only the muscle activation values of the triceps, but also your chest. And that is awesome. I always thought that if I put the bands on, it would only benefit my arms or legs because I could only put it on on my arms or legs. But this is not the case, guys. Another 2012 review also showed that using BFR around your arms during the bench press can improve triceps and chest hypertrophy, just like squeezing your thighs during the squat and leg curls will improve your quads and glute hypertrophy. I can honestly say that using katsu, especially now, will be really beneficial to use for your home workouts or even when you are able to visit a gym. I would still use it. I would still think this is very beneficial. Katsu can be a very useful tool in your training in rehabilitation, high frequency training or in the desire to maximize metabolic stress and activate more motor units with lighter loads. This can be very beneficial to use for older people as well because they are more prone to joint injuries. So all in all, Katsu does has a lot of benefits for hypertrophy or strength for older people, beginners, advanced lifters. So that is all I have for you guys. So I really recommend using Katsu and trying it out yourself. And let me know in the comments guys, what videos you want to see next. I love making these videos and I really hope you guys are enjoying them. And if you like the video, like it, it's just a small, Tick of a button, you can do it right now if you want. It would help me out. And uh, in return, I grant you good content. And guys, I love all of you. Subscribe if you haven't already, because you don't want to miss future videos. And see you next time. Much love.